maybe I would uh, do a little chat with me while I'm on my way to the post office to drop off a Easter gift for my granddaughter. She lives out of state, so I'm hoping <laughs> this year I actually get <laughs> to give her her Easter presents um, on Easter or at least around Easter because I'm really bad at the mail thing and I'm working on it. I, I am. I'm working on it. And uh, so I just, I wanted to make sure. Easter is this Sunday and so I figured out. I definitely need to mail it out by today. So I thought maybe, you know, do a little chit chat, I suppose. While I'm driving down the road, I've got a piece of hair apparently around my eyeball. Worst time for it to happen while you're driving, right? Well, anyway, I'm driving my husband's car because come to find out I have to put my car in the in the shop and it goes in first thing Monday morning something to do with either my wheel bearing or my timing chain I thought it was the drive shaft or whatever because originally I thought it was my brakes I stopped with the car um, I don't have any issues as far as that goes. It doesn't hesitate. My brakes isn't stabbing. But it's just when I come to like a just about ready to stop, a complete stop, it's like my brakes want to grab or something. Well, as of yesterday, it started making a really funky noise like a, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it in words, but it's like a kind of sound. It's not high pitch or anything. And it only happens when I come to that stop. So the mechanic ended up telling me that he doesn't believe that it's the drivetrain or it's the timing chain. That he, he thinks that it has something to do with the tire or the wheel bearing whatever. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't really know. And so, I have some running around again to do today on this miserable, dreary, rainy Tuesday afternoon. I mean, it's 12.46, as you can see in part of my video here, maybe. It's not sunny whatsoever. It's rainy. Um, according to the car, it says it's 43 degrees out, so it's not so bad. <clears throat> but I did want to um, just show you my everyday life. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's why I called it Little Miss G's Everyday Life. This is what I do. You know, there's some days I don't do anything. You know, I'll just do my cooking, my cleaning, and, you know, pay my bills, that kind of thing. And watch some YouTube, try to figure out what I want to do, how I want to do something. But with the holiday coming up now, I need to get myself on the ball and actually mail this thing out. So, that's where I'm at. I'm on my way to the post office. Um... Then I'm going to be meeting up with um, our travel agent, our pastor's wife, because like I had said before, we are going on a cruise. It's basically a 14-day cruise, 13-day, something like that. We leave out of Barcelona, Spain on July 1st, and we will get back to Barcelona, Spain on July 13th but we're not going to be coming back home until the 14th and we're actually flying out to Barcelona on June 29th so it's going to be you know two weeks a little bit more maybe 
And so I have to meet up with her today to basically get everything finalized. And that way then I can start booking our excursions that we want to do because my husband definitely wants to go to the Coliseum because we're going to Rome. I, I want to see the Vatican, of course. I can't wait to go to Monte Carlo and go walk the streets in France. So I think it'll be exciting. And I do plan on bringing you guys along with me or at least showing you some of the sites, some of the things that we do. I think it would be exciting. And who knows, maybe it'll be actually something one of you might be interested in doing. But it is a European cruise. Well, uh, Mediterranean, I believe, is what they're calling it. And uh, check it out if you want. We're going on uh, the Caribbean. Wait, wait, wait. Royal Caribbean. I am so sorry. So go check it out if you want. Maybe there's some cabins still left and some time still to be able to um, get on this cruise. I think it'll be exciting, very interesting. I've never been international, so I know that's an adventure and excitement all on its own. Um, I have been on cruises before, actually only one. So I shouldn't say cruises, this will be my second one. Second. Um, but I've flown plenty of times. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm too short, but I always wanted to be a pilot. So, anyway, I'm just doing a rant on my drive to the post office. <laughs> so, if you were interested in just hearing what one part of my day consists of, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. It's all right. I'm okay with that. I really am. And the reason why I'm okay with all that is because you're letting me know whether or not this is something you're interested in or you're not. And maybe I I need to tweak it a little bit more, you know, and do something more interesting. I don't know. I don't know if my life is interesting or not. Um, some people think it is. That's why they talk about me. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I'm really trying to get my husband to be okay with being on film so that way then you can actually see a day in the life because, no lie, I've been with my husband now for 12 years. And every single day in those 12 years, today included, we laugh every day we laugh um, at each other with each other to each other about each other I mean we just it's fun you know we enjoy our life and stuff and I would love for you guys to be able to experience one of those days just to see what it really is like to be walking in our shoes on a typical day um, we have fun. We enjoy each other. We enjoy our time. Um, regardless of what we're doing. I mean, cause he could be off doing his own thing and I'll do my own thing. And then out of the blue, something hilarious will happen. So I'm working on that. Anyway, like I said, give me a thumbs up if you're interested in any of this give me a thumbs down to let me know that you're not and leave me a comment let me know let me know what I'm doing how I'm doing if you think I should be doing this at all um, I'll leave my email in the description box if you would like to send me an email you might have seen one of my books uh, unboxings and are interested in something that I had purchased from that and like I said it's all for resale and that way then you'll be able to see whether or not that's something you're interested in and you can contact me that way um, yeah so if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel 
and share this. Share it with other people. Share any of them. Like I said, I do some stupid, stupid stuff, but um, I have fun. I enjoy, you know, laughing and, you know, make the best of every day I've got. It doesn't matter, you know. You only got one life. You might as well be happy and enjoy it. Because not every day is, you know, filled with fun and sun and joy, apparently. I mean, there's no sun in sight today. So, I know I'm rambling. Um, so, go ahead. Subscribe to my channel. Show me that you're interested, that, you know, you, even if it's just, you're just curious. I mean, curiosity always got... Uh, curiosity, I guess. The statement is, curiosity killed the cat, but... Um, it's a good thing they have nine lives. Anyway, does it make sense? So, I'm almost to the post office. I will go ahead and... Oh, stay tuned. I have another bulk unboxing coming up today. So, subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so that way then YouTube will let you know when I do upload another video. And you'll be able to know it's ready for you to view. Um, until then, I will see you all later. And enjoy every moment and have a wonderful, wonderful day. See ya.